interrupt this program to bring you a special report. I'm sorry about the title of this video, but um, uh, let me explain. Back around the new year when all the Logan Paul shit was going down, I obviously, as a person, as a human being, I was frustrated and pissed off and offended by his actions. I felt as I imagine most of you felt. How I felt as a YouTuber, as a creator, as somebody who depends on this platform, I was nervous and I was anxious as to how Logan's actions might negatively affect the entire platform. With that anxiety, I, I waited for YouTube's response. I, I wanted to hear what they had to say. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And ultimately, they did, they did post a response. It was a little over a week later in the form of five tweets, something they called an open letter. Um, and that open letter started by them saying, many of you have been frustrated with our lack of communication recently. And you're right to be. While I appreciated their self-awareness, ultimately I was, I was left completely unsatisfied by what they had to say, by the ambiguity of the letter. There was nothing there. There was no substance to it. They didn't really say anything. They didn't answer the questions that I had as a creator. So uh, rather than doing what I would normally do, which is make a video bitching about it or go on Twitter complaining about it, I, I emailed YouTube. And I didn't just generically email YouTube but I emailed the top executive at YouTube in charge of all creators. He's a guy named Robert Kinsel, and he's the chief business officer uh, of YouTube. So you got Susan Wojcicki, who's the CEO, and then you've got Robert, who's the CBO, and together they run the entire company. But it, it's Robert who handles everything that touches us creators, that touches the entire community, that's his responsibility. And in that email, I expressed to him my frustration and my disappointment and how YouTube had handled communicating what was going on throughout the entire controversy. Uh, and, and this definitely wasn't the first time I brought up YouTube's poor communication skills to him. They're great people who are definitely used to hearing me complain. This time, instead of just complaining, I, I had a suggestion or a challenge. I, I suggested that he come here to New York City to my office and we would talk about YouTube on camera. Uh, I wanted to ask him personally the questions I had about this platform, uh, especially after the Logan Paul controversy, and I wanted to make a video about it that I would put on this channel. And to my absolute surprise, he accepted. So this coming Monday, February 12th, 2018, I will be posting that interview in its entirety here on this channel. It's, it's long, I asked a lot of questions, and Robert had a lot to say. And I, I do want to say that I, I took this opportunity extremely seriously. You know, <laughs> judging by what's happened in my own career in the last couple of weeks, I'm very quick to acknowledge that I am not the best journalist out there. So I, I did ask a couple of my friends, some of which are professional journalists and some of which are YouTubers who I think would have smart perspectives on this. And that's how I put together my questions. And I don't think my questions were easy. I asked him the questions that I think any creator would ask if you were given the opportunity to speak to the person at the very top, the person with the ability to change, alter, move anything on this platform. Now, this is definitely a first for me. To the best of my knowledge, this kind of thing is a first for YouTube. And I wanna end this little preview, this little explanation video by just acknowledging a huge, huge, huge risk for him and for YouTube to come here and, and talk to me on the record. So that's it. Like I said, the video will be posted in just a couple of days. You know, uh, just some of the pragmatic parts. I didn't share any of my questions with YouTube, with Robert. I didn't share any of the questions ahead of time. They didn't know what they were getting themselves into with, with what I was gonna be asking them. Um, and when Robert finally showed up here, when he walked through the door to my office, he was with his head of PR for all of YouTube. And the first question that I asked them was, with the cameras off, the first question I asked them was, what's off limits? What do you not want me asking you? And, and Robert looked me in the eye, I wasn't wearing glasses, he looked me in the eye and said, nothing's off limits, ask whatever you wanna ask. Uh, I hope you'll give this video the time that it deserves. I hope you will give YouTube um, sort of a, a chance to hear out what they wanna say about this whole, everything that's going on in this platform. And whether you like what he has to say or not, uh, I think that the, his willingness and YouTube's willingness to come and speak so openly speaks volumes. Okay, I'm very, very excited to share this with, uh, with all of the internet. Oh.